Here we have the setup window. The first thing you need to do is pick your MIDI in device from the drop down list. Please make sure the MIDI interface is turned on, preferably connected to the liquid foot at this time. So I have a USB uh, M Audio Uno as my in device, and I'm going to select my out device, which is the same piece of hardware. The MIDI interface uh, delay, some computers, depending on the interface plugged into it and the speed of the processor, uh, may send data too fast or too slow uh, based on the buffer count and so forth. Um, I've set the delay on 60, which seems to work on quite a few interfaces and uh, different OSs. Uh, you may, if you receive an error at the liquid foot, meaning it's not receiving data fast enough, then you'll lower this number or reduce the delay. Um, and you can play with this number um, to uh, start with 60 though um, to um, uh, block the software from sending configuration data to the liquid foot if you're just practicing with the software this is a good idea please uh, check the box and it won't send configuration data to the liquid foot but it will send presets and songs and set lists IA switches and other global parameters uh, depending on your uh, LCD screen um, or monitor, uh, the default width and height of the uh, windows for the liquid foot software may be too big. And uh, so you have two options to set it quickly so that every time you load the software, it automatically opens to uh, your custom size. So uh, you can come back into this configuration. Um, screen after you set up the size of the um, normal editing window and so if you click on use current size it will change the height and width to that of what you've set your um, window for if you'd like it to fill up the entire screen just press full screen and these numbers will change accordingly for your computer and when you're done press save 